Hey YouTube, it's been coming back today, and I was tagged by Vidium, so thank you very much. Uh, I caught the uh, gaming history tag, and just uh, in general, I'll go over uh, obviously my gaming history. It all started back uh, late '80s, actually early '90s. It seemed like I was always behind um, cousins and and family members with the uh, newer systems. I I really don't know why. I just I always been like a hand-me-down type thing. Uh, I had an uh, original Atari. I had maybe 36, 37 games with it, and you know, used it for a while. It was really fun. And uh, eventually, mid, uh, I want to say mid 90s, I got my first uh, early 90s, 93 or so. I got my Nintendo. You know, the Super Nintendo was right around the corner. And I had friends who had it and played it over there, but still pretty happy with the Nintendo. And you know, I had a great little selection of games there and uh, that just seemed like for the longest time I had that and so the 16-bit didn't come way later um, and for my birthday I, I want to say 15, 14 or 15 I got a uh, the Super Nintendo set with uh, the Donkey Kong Country pack in it was pretty cool I remember that like yesterday and uh, Super Nintendo was where it's at for a really long time I got a bunch of games I missed a bunch of opportunities to get a bunch of good games, but, you know, when I was young, I wasn't really into all the reviews and research like I am today. And from there, it just kind of evolved. I think the next system was PS... No, it was Sega. I ended up getting a Sega, and then shortly after, I got a uh, PlayStation 1. Um, not much to say with the Sega. didn't really get too far with that. Maybe that's why I'm not such a supporter today. Uh, the PS1, however, I did have a bunch of games. Uh, don't have the original of that. A lot of the systems I don't have anymore. Um, I think I got a Game Boy somewhere at the same time I got a PS1, but that was just like a hand-me-down original Game Boy. And uh, from there, just uh, PS2 was the next system. That was pretty cool. Um, one year for Christmas. When I got that, it was just like a total shock to me because I asked all year for that thing for Christmas and my mother repeatedly said no and I was such such a down in the dumps type attitude with the whole situation. And on Christmas, I accidentally opened up the controller first and I was a pretty smart little cookie back then. It kind of confused me at first. I was like, oh, I don't have a PlayStation, but thanks. And then... She kind of looked at me, started smiling a little bit. I was like, oh, no. Uh. And I kind of just kind of thought about it some more. I was like, uh, wait a minute here. So I, I ended up getting the PlayStation 1, and uh, I remember the two games. It was NFL Game Day 99 and Crash Bandicoot. So that was really cool. And uh, had a lot of fun with that. I eventually got a PS2 and uh, Dreamcast followed as well. I think every the only original system I have uh, have out of all those right now is uh, the PlayStation 2 which is kinda weird. That's the one that survived everything. After that, uh, the, uh, the console gaming kinda went away for a while and then I started getting into, I don't know if this counts but I'm gonna say it anyways, the uh, card collecting. I uh, used to play Magic the Gathering quite a bit used to like it, spend a few hundred dollars on it like everything else collecting wise I've done. Still actually have a lot of those cards. Um, and uh, it wasn't long, it's was probably like a year and a half, two year thing with that. And then it uh, it wouldn't be till years later until I got like a a new gen system. Um, I just, you know, a newer gen rather, I mean I missed out on the PlayStation 3, I missed out on the Xbox 360, pretty much because I just didn't really have, you know, gaming wasn't in my blood, I felt like anymore, it was slowing down quite a bit. And then, believe it or not, uh, the year the Wii came out, I really wanted one. The first year they came out, I uh, couldn't find them anywhere, I was getting depressed because my wife's like, well, if that's what you want for Christmas, we'll get it. And, uh, that's what I wanted, so... Went around everywhere. Everywhere we went was sold out or they were going to do the line thing. They said, oh, come back really early in the morning. Well, as I was leaving most of those stores, there was already a huge line. Uh, eventually, uh, and uh, I believe it was Manchester, Missouri, I went into a Toys R Us. I was like, you guys going to have any Wii's in? They said, yeah, tomorrow morning. 
And then I asked him, well, do you have any policies against uh, you know, starting a line outside? And he said, no, go for it. I went back out. It was 10 o'clock at night, and my wife was right behind me. She was number two. I was number one, the first person to start that line. It was really cool. Uh, it was late November. It was almost, you know, December, getting into Christmas time. And it was a horrible experience. The weather was cold. It was drizzly. It was that slow, annoying drizzle all night. We had sleeping bags and the chairs, uh, I think. But it was horrible. I think partway through the night, one of the chairs semi-broke, so it was uncomfortable. I probably wouldn't do it again, but it was a really neat experience just to say I did it. I was number one, in fact. My wife was number two. And we ended up selling the second one for quite a bit and basically got a pretty good chunk of a discount for the first one. And at that time, what was really cool is whenever we sold that system, we got a, you get a free game. You get to pick a free game. So my first two Wii games, besides a, a copy of Wii Sports, was... Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance and uh, Twilight Princess. So it was a real cool deal. I don't even know why they did it. It's just basically, hey, spend a bunch of money on this and get a free game. And I got the Zelda, my wife got the Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and you know, sold the other one off and got a two free games and a pretty cheap system, newer system. So that was pretty cool. I remember getting home. It was uh, like 8 in the morning when we finally got back, and I was dead tired, absolutely dead tired. And... I opened up the Wii, I set it all up, and I played five minutes, and I was like, yep, I'm done. And I fell asleep uh, pretty much right there on the floor. I said, screw it, got to get some rest. And I uh, woke up five, six hours later and just went to town on that thing. Uh, to this day, um, not really much going on with uh, the gaming besides, uh, actually there is. Um, it's full circle, it comes right back around to retro. And I've uh, been collecting my Nintendo stuff. For anybody who hasn't noticed my uh, New Year's resolution goals, I got them posted on the little sidebar in my uh, account. And uh, unfortunately, I don't, only out of one of three I've hit so far. I've, uh, during, around March, the beginning of this year, I started recollecting for the Nintendo. And I'm currently up to 61 licensed games and three or four unlicensed games. So it's not too bad for starting over in a system. And uh, it's kind of funny how that full circle thing works out because, you know, when you're a little kid, you're always wanting something bigger and better. And then when you're grown up and you've seen the newer, bigger and better, you just kind of, uh, you know, want to go back to the challenge and the the just the overall experience with the retro games. And that's pretty much where I'm at now. I feel a little bit more educated in life with, with gaming and, you know, starting to become a decent little collector and... I think eventually I will get the newer gen systems. I don't know if it's going to be a few years down the road, but just just according to my history, that's just kind of how it's been for me. And I really don't mind it, and I unfortunately can't afford it right now. But you know, that's kind of the sacrifice I'm making for the whole college experience. But um, yeah, that's that's about it. And um, thank you very much, Vidium, for uh, tagging me. And since uh, a lot of the people I looked at who've done this video have already been tagged, I I guess I'm not really going to pick anybody out, but, you know, it's, it's a great tag video, and I encourage anybody who hasn't done it yet to uh, go ahead and do it. I was actually going to record this earlier, um, last night, or a few nights ago, rather, and then I got tagged, so it's kind of funny how things work out like that. But, everybody, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is 8-Bit Goomba, and, of course, like I always say when I get tagged, uh, keep them coming. Anybody and everybody who wants to tag you to questions, go for it. I always love the uh, opportunity to answer unique or different questions. And I'll see you guys later.